Do you feel weighed down by your burdens? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Shortly after coming to Christ, Sadhu Sundar, a Hindu convert to Christ, felt called to become a missionary to India. Late one afternoon, Sadhu was traveling on foot through the Himalayas with a Buddhist monk. It was bitterly cold and the wind felt like sharp blades slicing into Sadhu's skins. Night was approaching fast when the monk warned Sadhu that they were in danger of freezing to death if they did not reach the monastery before darkness fell. Just as they were traversing a narrow path above a steep cliff, they heard a cry for help. Down the cliff lay a man, fallen and badly hurt. The monk looked at Sadhu and said, Do not stop. God has brought this man to his fate. He must work it out for himself. Then he quickly added, while walking on, Let us hurry on before we too perish. But Sadhu replied, God has sent me here to help my brother. I cannot abandon him. The monk continued trudging off through the whirling snow while the missionary clambered down the steep embankment. The man's leg was broken and he could not walk, so Sadhu took his blanket and made a sling of it and tied the man on his back. Then, bending under his burden, he began a body-torturing climb. By the time he reached the narrow path again, he was drenched in perspiration. Doggedly, he made his way through the deepening snow and darkness. It was all he could do to follow the path. But he persevered, though faint with fatigue and overheated from exertion. Finally, he saw ahead the lights of the monastery. Then, for the first time, Sadhu stumbled and nearly fell, but not from weakness. He had stumbled over an object lying in the snow-covered road. Slowly, he bent down on one knee and brushed the snow off the object. It was the body of the monk frozen to death. Years later, a disciple of Sadhus asked him, What is life's most difficult task? Without hesitation, Sadhu replied, To have no burden to carry. In today's Gospel reading, in this night of the Last Supper, Jesus speaks to his disciples who are emotionally weighed down by the prospect of Jesus' death. They are troubled, confused, and afraid. Jesus, on the other hand, is not afraid. He is at peace and offers this to his disciples. Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. We reflect today, brothers and sisters, on that peace that we should desire. This pandemic has disrupted the daily rhythm of life we have. To the extent that it has flooded our minds with fear, it has become a daily burden, not just because of the loss of economic sustenance, but more so the prospect of an invisible enemy sounding the death knell for our hopes. Jesus' peace is embedded in his loving relationship with God, his Father. It is this peace that he wants us to have. We may have reason to tremble in fear, entertain thoughts of death, and be heavily laden, but we can still experience peace within ourselves because we know, deep in our heart, that as St. Paul puts it in Romans 8:38 to 39 nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is ours through Christ Jesus our Lord. When we cultivate that relationship with our God through our undisrupted, constant daily prayer time, a consistent hunger for His Word through scriptures, a vociferous craving for materials to deepen our faith, and nourished by the daily Holy Rosary, Holy Masses, and Sacraments, we will realize that peace is not just a concept, but a reality. Indeed, St. Paul tells us in Acts 14.22 of today's first reading that it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, and it will certainly be unusual, nay, extraordinary, for one not to carry any burden. But all burdens can become blessings, if our frame of mind and the disposition of our hearts are both firmly in tune with our Father. Amidst our burdens, our lives will be light and easy when we keep His Word and live by it daily. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I want to experience the peace and joy that only You can give. Help me to attain it 
through my faithfulness to your word. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.